conducting a training session for your business, or you're a creator engaging with your paid supporters, holding a webinar is a powerful tool for increasing engagement and providing valuable content. Riverside is a great platform for hosting your next webinar, both live broadcasts and pre-recorded video. Here are some key features that Riverside offers when you create a webinar. There's a seamless guest experience. Many times webinars will have multiple presenters. You can record those multiple guests and get high quality video and audio from each person on the call and they don't have to download any kind of application to their computer. Plus you can share your screen to present slides, websites, or other training material to your business. We also have a media bin built into the Riverside Studio that allows you to play audio and video clips during the recording. And all of those tracks are then synced with the rest of the video and audio from each participant. Plus you have the flexibility of tuning in from a computer or mobile device using the Riverside app. You may have people on the call also that don't often record video content like this. Well, you can view what device they're using for their audio input and output to make sure everyone is using the best mic and speaker options available. And when you're on a Riverside Teams account, you can even change the input and output devices for remote guests and mute or unmute participants as needed. It's a powerful tool. And because Riverside is made for remote recording, you and your other teammates can record across the country or even across the world as long as you have an internet connection. If you plan to deliver your webinar as a pre-recorded video, you still get all the benefits we just listed above. Plus, Riverside has a built-in editor that allows you to quickly export a finished file and it will even use AI to highlight the active speaker or even a screen share or presentation at all times. You don't even have to do anything, you just hit export. That will also include any segments of screen sharing, media playback like video from the media bin, and audio. You can export up to 4K video and even normalize audio levels across all participants with a single toggle button. This way everyone will be at a comfortable listening volume and people won't have to mess with the volume settings on their device. Plus if you prefer to edit the webinar in Premiere or Final Cut and add even more content, you can download the individual high quality video and audio files from every participant plus tracks for any of the screen share or media played. You can download 4K video files for each participant, plus uncompressed WAV files for the audio of every guest. Bring those into your video editor of choice and edit it however you would like. And if you plan to host a live webinar broadcast, that's just as easy with Riverside. Plus you get unique features you won't find in typical video calling applications. You can use Riverside audience mode to broadcast to up to 1,000 viewers that can tune in live. There's a live chat window for engagement and viewers can even do a live call-in so if someone has a question, you as the host or producer can see that question, accept a live call-in from someone viewing the webinar, and you'll actually get a separate video and audio track recording from that live call-in participant. Plus, Riverside can publish your live stream to YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitch, or anything with RTMP support. So your audience is really unlimited. You can use audience mode for those within the company or for audiences less than a thousand, and then you can rebroadcast the live stream with just a toggle to things like YouTube, Twitch, and other platforms. And even while you're doing that live webinar broadcast, you still get the high quality individual recordings, both video and audio, for every participant to edit later. So broadcasting live, you still get all the benefits of high quality local recording. Now, if you plan to host a webinar using Riverside with multiple remote guests, make sure everyone has a supported browser installed on their computer before they enter the studio. That's either Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. They need to be using one of those browsers on their machine. If they don't have the ability to do that, they can also use the Riverside app, both on an iPad, iPhone, or Android device, and tune into the call just as they would from a computer. Ask everyone participating in the webinar who's going to be presenting or live during the call to use headphones. If they don't use headphones, the audio from other speakers will bleed through their computer audio, and you won't get a clean recording, and there might be some cancellation. So make sure everyone's using headphones. Wired headphones are preferred, but they can use wireless headphones as well. Also provide some basic lighting and camera tips even if they're just using the built-in camera on their laptop. Check out this video above on how you can look best on camera even with a minimal setup and basically no budget. Also have any media items like video files and audio files already uploaded to the media library in your Riverside studio. You can upload them to the studio days ahead of time and they will be saved and ready to use. Also open any presentations or websites and other materials you plan to use in a screen share during the webinar. Have them already open so you don't have to worry about finding them once you start recording. Also turn on do not disturb or disable notifications to limit distractions during the recording, not only on your phone or tablet device, but also on the computer you're using for the webinar. 
You can even invite someone as a producer to keep an eye on the technical details of the recording. If you'd like to learn more about producer mode, check out this video above. When broadcasting a live webinar, keep an eye on the chat window and any live call-in requests that may come in. You can see those live call-in requests in the right-hand sidebar and keep an eye on the chat window as well to make sure you engage with those viewing the webinar. If there are any delays or stuttering with some of the participants during the recording, we actually have a new toggle you can enable called Low Data Mode. In the right-hand sidebar, expand this menu and choose Low Data Mode for All. When you enable Low Data Mode, the quality of the live broadcast will lower and some video may even turn off for some participants depending on internet speeds. But you're still getting the high quality video and audio recordings locally to every device that you can download later and make that into a post-produced webinar. So this does not affect your recording quality at all. It's just to keep the live call flowing naturally with less freezing and stuttering. And if you happen to have a participant during the call that is not using headphones, you should enable echo cancellation for those guests only. You can do that here in the right-hand sidebar under their name, toggle the echo cancellation on. If you'd like even more tips for getting the best recording possible with Riverside, check out this video above or click it in the video description. So those are some tips on holding a live webinar and doing a pre-recorded webinar using Riverside. If you have any questions, drop a comment below this video. We'd love to answer you there. And subscribe to the Riverside channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss a video. We have lots of content on video podcasting using video switchers with Riverside and a ton more. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.